Hey guys, so I'm inside here and we're hanging out here at the wedding or reception thing. I'm just gonna wait here for a little bit and see what happens. For you football fans, NT fans, here's like half of the PSA 10 populations. It's crazy. Guys, biggest pickup for me this weekend, PSA 10 Gold Kaboom, Lamar Jackson, how cool is that? guys it is now saturday day two here at the chintilly car show it is now 8 30 i am about to head out the show starts at nine so let's get there you know i was already there yesterday and today is from nine to five so we can just go a little bit more steady today um haven't ate breakfast yet, haven't had coffee yet, but that's okay. Got up, got ready, about to pack all my stuff, about to head over there. And we gonna just check out the show for a few hours or until we get hungry or tired. Then we go get coffee or food. Uh, because there's actually a lot of like restaurants area around Chantilly venue. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so let's go and see. And our game plan is still the same. Uh, pick up the basketball players that we think are going to do well in the playoff. Uh, pick up the quarterbacks that are a little bit undervalued. And that I think that we could move in Dallas and at the National. And of course, I always buy Pokemon cards because we like Pokemon. It's not too bad today. It's actually a pretty nice day. Uh, you know, it's a little chilly, but for, you know, early morning, it's not too cold. I can probably manage it without a jacket, but this Airbnb I got, it's like a lot nicer than I thought it was. It's like a damn mansion. It's really nice, actually. I'll show you guys. Big driveway. This house is huge. Hey guys, so we just made it here to the Expo Center. Got some Starbucks. And there is a huge line. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a huge line there. Um, so, let's go get some breakfast. <laughs> so, like I was saying, this whole bunch of like restaurants area around this place they're really good actually so we'll go check this place out peruvian food let's go get some food and might as well right cheers look at this breakfast platter it was breakfast time so it's considered breakfast What's up, guys? So we finally just made it in here to Chantilly. Jameson Williams. It's so crowded today. It's Saturday. Unless you're a vendor, unless I'm vending, I really don't like Saturdays to be honest. But it's okay. Uh, like I was talking to Kevin this over here. What's up, Kevin? Final so call. This is Grand Butter right here. This is at uh, Value Box, Jameson Dollar Box, Williams. wherever you want to call it. You say you've been sitting here for how long? A little about over an hour, probably. Yeah. Yeah, so 
yeah, that's what we were like talking about. Like, at uh, shows like these, there's a lot of people around, like a lot of vendors, a lot of flippers, a lot of like sharks. So it's very competitive. So you gotta find other Jameson ways to make plays. And Folks, a lot of people again, don't want to spend time at that YouTube but just causing a problem. I think it's gonna be all you put in the work, so you find something. I'm sure there's a you see tape and you're standing within the tape. I mean, between, if you look over there, there absolutely. Continue. Yeah, behind us too, there's like a whole bunch of value boxes here. And you know, for, you know, if you're a big guy, no offense, mm -hmm. and walking around, standing on your feet all day, probably like not very comfortable. Oh, it's so, my favorite, so, sit down. Yeah, you get to sit down, look at cars. If you love cars, you get to look at a whole bunch of cars and buy some gold and stuff. So I think this is a very good move. Hey, really you gotta work plan, for man. it, man. If this is something you love, you gotta put the effort in. Exactly, and you know, it's a, uh, uh, easy on your feet too so that's a play right there it's been about like 10 minutes pick these two up not bad sticker at 30 got for 20 bucks thank you thank you two deals so far uh kind of like value plays just bought like lots uh pokemon got a for a decent amount uh, Honestly, I didn't really check comps. I just went off their sticker. It seemed fine, but it was like three, four dollar cards. Got it for like seventy percent. So whatever, right, guys. Biggest pickup for me this weekend: PSA ten gold kaboom. The Mar Jackson. How cool is that? It's my first gold kaboom card. Well, actually, no, my second gold kaboom card. But pretty cool. All right, thank you, Jesse. Appreciate the deal. That's funny. Thank you so much. Thanks for the deal, bro. There's a card I saw yesterday. It was like a logo band of Bobby Portis, rookie, immaculate. And I'm trying to uh, look for it now. I can't. I forgot who had it. And I forgot where it was. So, you walk around for like 10 minutes looking for it. Hopefully, I mean, assuming it's through it. But the show is pretty packed. Sean Alexander, tickets 1 through 20. 360. They're announcing it like crazy because other signers are here. It's pretty loud though. Dallas tickets 1 through 30. Alright, so PSA is here this weekend. Looking at some cards. Still haven't found uh, that logo man. I was looking for. I wonder if he was still here. Maybe the car just sold. It's been like an hour now. <laughs> but I'm just around a little bit. Let's see if there's any, any kind of deals we can make. Oh, maybe fossil. For you football fans, NT fans, here's like half of the PSA 10 populations. It's crazy. So, people just worry about comps way too much. Comps are always changing. It's either going to go up, it's going to go down. It's never staying the same. You're not going to have the same price. For like a whole year, like a year ago, the same car, it doesn't matter where it is. It's either going up or it's going down. So people focus too much on comp and they think it's like everything basically, you know. Yes, comp is important. Comps, 
helps you indicate what's the range that you can be at on this car. Unless you are a percent buyer, like those people that has to be at a certain percent when they buying cars because they resell it for a certain amount of percent. Those guys has to go off the comps because that's how they make their money. I call them percent buyers, but comps is always changing. So why not be the one that changed the comp? If you see a car that's sold for a thousand dollars and you believe in it and you think it's going to be worth two, three thousand dollars, why not pay eight hundred or nine hundred dollars on it? You know, it's like, why can't you be the person that changed the comp that makes it comp for higher? Uh, just don't sell it for cheap. <laughs> like if a car comps for a thousand dollars, don't put it on eBay for eight hundred. That's how you make lower comps. Put it on eBay for three thousand dollars. It's gonna take a while. Hold it. If you believe in it, if you think the card is going to be strong, stay strong. And you can be the one that sell it for $3,000 and help the other people with that same car as you. So you can be the one to change the world. All right, guys. So we are down the road here at Holiday Inn. Little birdie told me that they're having tree night tonight here. So... Hopefully that little birdie is right because I drove all the way down here and let's try to see if we can make some deal. Dang it, little birdie. It was in this hotel. Apparently it's at, uh, at the Marriott, so I gotta go try to look for the Marriott now. All right, so we just made it here to the Marriott Hotel and yeah, apparently there's like a few people that uh, came here but they're leaving right now because 6 30 right now and apparently it's not gonna start to eight and there's like a wedding going on um so they're all heading out but whatever we're ready here so i guess we'll just go to the wedding and trust for a wedding but i was wondering why they are like going here because uh the holiday inn hotel is like right in front of the venue but i get it now this is like a really nice hotel it's like super big but i guess we go in there and we'll be the first one at the tray night I'll just hang out at the waiting real fast and see what happens yeah, this hotel is huge So I'm inside here and we're hanging out here at the wedding or reception thing. Just gonna wait here for a little bit and see what happens. Alright guys, so train night is kicking off now. It's about 7.45 and apparently train night is not supposed to start till 8 o'clock. So it's a decent amount here. And the party's still going on over there. Everybody's like drunk because there's an open bar, which I do appreciate that. It's pretty fun. But yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, been here for like two hours now, so came here a little bit too early. So we're at train night. It's picking up. It's 8.30 right now. But the employees told us that they have like another event. So they're kicking us out. They're kicking us out at nine o'clock, which is in like thirty minutes. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, it kind of just started, so we'll see what happens. There's like six events happening right now. So it is a nice hotel, though. It's cool. First PC pickup of the weekend. First pickup of tray night. Been here for like three hours and. Only made one deal. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but here's 30 bucks. Thanks, awesome. man. Appreciate Thank you it. Very much. Thanks for the deal, man. Yeah, PC. Guys, so they kicked us out from the other side. So we moved over here for trade night. Yeah, ladies are nice. 
free drinks. Cheers, brother. Cheers, my boy. Free drinks. How's the drink? Hey, man. Sensational. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's sober, lame. He's not old enough to drink. <laughs> All right, I'm about to check this. Every god, person of God over there would drink too. <laughs> He's not driving, so it's okay. Look at that face, bro. You know, sometimes if you can't do deals at shows or trade night, it's always great to just hang around, socialize, talk with other people about you know their their point of view you know like some people might have some tips some ideas the way that they sell cars how they sell cars how they comp cars all that stuff and it's always good to like do something if you even though if you're not making moves why not network and get advice from other people that's what he's been doing he hasn't bought a car all weekend Guys, it's now midnight here. We got like four people left at the show, at the train night actually. And yeah, it's uh, it's been fun. I probably did like one deal, two deals maybe. And it is what it is. But we actually did more networking, more talking and t like associating with other guys and getting tips, exchanging information with people. So. I feel like that's more valuable at the end of the day if you're trying to do this long term. I feel like networking and getting information is more valuable than making like a hundred, two hundred dollars at a trade night. That's just my opinion, that's just my point of view. Just because I'm trying to do this like long term and as much information as I can get, as much tips as I can get. It just network and just connect me with other people. I feel like that's more valuable later on. That's just my opinion, but yeah. So we're heading out now. It's like four or five people left and it's midnight. So we got another day tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if I can go because I check out my Airbnb tomorrow and I'm like about a seven or eight hour drive to get home. So. I will see. I will see. We'll see what happens. But I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And please, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and comment down below. It will really help with the algorithm and help my channel grow. Thank you so much. Bye.